Hello, air signs. Welcome to your weekly oracle messages. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. And if you would like a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. I'm still offering the special until the end of the month of April, which is called The Rising. And it's a special tarot offer that focuses on themes of change, rebirth, and empowerment. So if you would like to know more info about that special, just email me. Or if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do so by following the PayPal link, which is also down below, and as well my Facebook and Instagram page. So air signs, I do feel like this week ahead is one um, filled with grace. There's something beautiful or beautiful experiences that some of you are about to encounter, feel, realize, acknowledge, have manifested in your life. I do feel like for the majority of you, this is a fairly positive, very positive experience of inspiration. And as I said, of grace. When I think about grace, I think about, um, you know, something, you know, from from a heaven, heavenly place, which means there's something pure, divine, light about experiences that some of you are encountering. And I do feel like some of you air signs are going to be rewarded by, you know, the lessons you have learned appropriately in the last uh, weeks and months in terms of wisdom, in terms of overcoming, you know, the lower aspects of your nature and putting them into, you know, recycling them into the highest, which means that some of you have been working on self-development. And for those air signs that have been working on self-development, you know, this week can be the week where you really feel the energy of spring and, and things blooming and things, you know, becoming, you know, uh, it's like an, an energy of a field, you know, um, full of beauty, full of natural and, and um, healing and soothing vibrations. I feel like some of you air signs have um, happiness in, you have an encounter with happiness this week. It can be happiness um, that you feel because the way, because of the change, right? The change of, um, the change of, the change of mind or the change of heart that some of you have undergone is now starting to produce real effects, which means that whatever changes you have done for the better, you are going to, you know, feel them in a real way. So everything may be the same, but the, the attitude you have to, to your life is different and so you're able to be much more content and much more happy or there's a happier version of you air signs that it's blooming during this week I do feel that for Gemini's this is in spe specifically this energy channels itself into relationships there's something beautiful happening for Gemini's during this week ahead this is the card friendliness and it's your Oracle message for the week and this is a beautiful card that talks about finding and being and um, in, involved and associated with relationships that honor each other in the most, you know, respectable ways, where there's an immense um, and generous bond of mutual appreciation, of mutual respect, love, care, but where the relationship is rooted in in most of it in um, you know respect because um, the relationship is not grounded on you know the need to impose or the need to have someone it's a relationship that feels free that feels um, you know that, that that feels okay to be with because you can be yourself in it. So for Gemini's that have been having 
issues with relationships. I feel like there is opportunity for for you, Gemini's, to find, you know, reconciliation, healing, you know, to, able to find solutions for the better, to reinvent, you know, relationship patterns that have not been functional. Some of you can have, you know, encounters during this week that are going to warm you from the inside, which means some of you can fall in love. Some of you can have, you know, a lot of romantic, um, kind of a romantic, um, it's like romantic, uh, romantic gestures on your own, or your partner can have more romantic gestures than usual. There's some romanticism here. Others of you, there's this new development of the relationship and appreciation you are building within you that is manifesting in finding a person in your life, which could be a lover or a friend or um, anyone else in which you will be connecting with that in, that you can see beyond, you know, appearance, which means you see the beauty you or you are seeing the beauty of others from the inside. There's something about Gemini's during this time being able to see people in depth. And I feel like some of you are, you know, feeling quite grateful during this period of time by already the, the current existence, you know, um, relationships you have in your life and the ones that would that will be coming there's a real sense of reconciling yourself with others and others as well seeing the beauty in you so there's this mutual exchange of outlook to each other that opens do open here doors of real love of, of having experiences of real love and real connectedness with another being for Libras, you have the transformation card. So out of all the three signs, I feel like Libras are the ones that may have, uh, you know, still hear something going on during this time that may be intense. It doesn't mean that it's negative. It's just I feel like it's quite intense for some of you. You're being called to change and allow things to change from the inside out in ways that have been testing you, have been testing, you know, your ability to let go, your ability to trust, your ability to overcome barriers of your own self. And I feel like this week, this transformation can act in a good way by releasing you from burdens you don't want to carry. I feel like some of you have an opportunity to disconnect from pressure, from stress, from noisy uh, vibrations. So it's a time that I feel some Libras need silence. You need meditation. You need, you know, contact with yourself and nature. I feel like some of you would benefit immensely to be outdoors meditating like um, near the sea, in a park, you know, uh, in a beach. I, I feel like there's something here about silence, silence really being gold and a powerful key to solve, you know, whichever, you know, issues you may be still dealing with during this week that are keeping you... I feel like sometimes feeling like you can't breathe um, properly. That's why the meditation work can really, really work wonders. Because I also feel like some of you can have some type of messages coming forward. Messages from your guides. Messages from the universe. You can understand things, but you need silence. You need to be away from an environment that doesn't allow you to think or to transform as you must. For Aquarius, you do have this beautiful card, which is existence. So this is my favorite card actually from the uh, this deck. This is like the magician vibration, but for me in particular, the existence um, showing up here for Aquarius, 
I feel like you have um, wishes uh, that are going to be fulfilled. Some of you, there are wishes you have been already, um, things you, intentions you already have set in the past, especially connected with work, with finances, with feeling abundant and having more abundance coming into your life. I feel like there's something beautiful or something um, connected with previous, you know, intentions that are going to be manifested during this period of time and make you feel much more, you know, uh, at whole with who you are. Some of you need to feel whole or you can be feeling whole, complete during this period of time. And it can be something that magnifies, you know, your manifesta manifestator um, traits or your manifest manifesting ca capabilities. So some of you are powerfully connected with divine channels of opportunity. And it's a great time for Aquarius that want to call in abundance to work on understanding how this law of attraction and manifestation works. Some of you have bright, bright, bright visions or bright visions coming uh, in regards of your role or the role you are playing here or you're playing during this period of time in, you know, the universal kind of um, kind of plan. Some of you may feel quite connected with uh, the universe, with God or with any other di divine um, channel. There's a, s a real sense of connectedness. And this is, as I said, bringing you a sense of wholeness that is much needed to get you where you want to be. Some of you are to spend time you know, contemplating the mysteries of life. I feel like some of you are really into questioning a lot of things and finding actually rejoice finding ecstasy in um seeing how everything connects how everything fits itself together into this beautiful narrative others of you existence is is, is just a state of being you know uh, being yourself being yourself in life being yourself in love being yourself in family some of you are becoming who you were always meant to be aside of any other challenges um, that you have faced. Some of you, there's a real sense here of uh, rebirth. Um, you know, you have just re, re... There's a sense of Aquarius energy has just arrived from a rebirth. And now you're like contemplating, you know, after everything some of you have been going through, you are just contemplating, you know, you're not putting pressure and you shouldn't be about anything else aside of you and aside of your relationship with life. Some of you are very curious during this time and have a lot of ideas in how to manifest, as I said, prosperity, wealth and um, meaning to uh, your work. And the relationships that kind of depend on you to um, to grow as well. All some of you, you know, you have roles to play in assisting others, humanity, um, you know, collective. Uh, there's there's something here about Aquarius energy being involved with collective causes, humanitarian causes, or wanting to. And, and your path ahead is a little bit connected with. Uh, playing a role of service, as I said, to others as well, in helping others, you know, building their own prosperity, maybe, or their own sense of wholeness as well. So I hope you have a great week ahead. Thank you so much for all of you that have been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and donating to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And hopefully we'll see each other soon.